okay uh, good morning everybody uh, good morning sir. welcome yeah welcome to this uh, fluid mechanics class and uh, today we are going to continue with the chapter on uh, dimensional analysis okay as i told you what do you mean by dimensional analysis is that we are using the fundamental quantities length mass and time so we call it as mlt mass length and time in order to derive in order to derive the equations the equations for different variables okay for different variables so last class we did example 4.13 okay 4.13 in that example we have done the uh, we have showed that q is equal to nd cube phi into uh, mu by rho nd square sigma rho n square d cube and w by rho n square d we showed that using the buckingham pi theorem so i also discussed with you what is buckingham pi theorem so by doing the problems you will understand more on how to do the buckingham pi theorem okay we can continue with that now yeah now uh, i have sent a study material for all of you just uh, go through that last time on the last class what i had said take out the same thing dimensional analysis problems on dimensional analysis i have sent it to the four semester group four semester group problems on dimensional analysis please open that and we'll continue with uh, where we had left off yesterday that is example 4.14 please come to example 4.14 example 4.14 i want all of you to open the study material 4.14 yes, please for semester whatsapp group just open example 4.14 dimensional analysis problems got it okay now in the example 4.14 yeah using solve using buckingham pi theorem assuming the drag force f exerted by a flowing fluid on a body is a function of the density rho viscosity mu velocity v of the fluid and the characteristic length l of the body this is a problem given that means he is telling that some drag force f is related to various parameters variables and it is a function of different variables using the buckingham pi theorem he wants you to solve for f that is a drag force and write the equation for the drag force that means in what way it is related to all these variables is it directly proportional inversely proportional square root cube root square cube all those things So now, using the Buckingham Pi theorem, as we did last class, how to do the Buckingham Pi theorem? Those are not attended yesterday's class. Please listen carefully. Now, he is telling that write an equation for F using the Buckingham Pi theorem using the dimensional analysis. F is equal to that is drag force is equal to function of function of what are the variables here? Density rho, viscosity mu. velocity v and length l so how many variables are there f is a function of rho mu l and v now take this function on the left hand side f1 include the drag force f into the bracket and say that it is equal to zero now can you tell me how many variables are there how many variables are there now hello i want you to interact how many variables are there can you hear me hello 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 yeah how many variables are there n is equal to 5 5 variables are there now <clears throat> okay five variables are there now see here n is equal to 5 next what should you do next next what you should do once you know n next is 
got once you know n next is you have to find m how many fundamental equations are there now fundamental equations always will be equal to 3 only that means what m is equal to 3 now once m is equal to 3 why m is equal to 3 always okay why m is equal to 3 always see the thing is m is the number of fundamental dimensions now what is number of fundamental dimensions what is that what is the number of fundamental dimensions m l and t mass length and time are called fundamental equations or dimensions m l t is always equal to 3 m l and t 3 so m is equal to 3 how many variables are there five so total number of five terms Five terms. That is the working amp five theorem we are using. How many five terms are there? N minus m. N minus m. What is n? Five. M three. Five minus three two. So how many five terms are there? Five one and five two. Two five terms are there. Therefore, f one of five one five two is equal to zero. Now you have to find the value of five one. You have to find the value of five two. Once you find the value of five one and five two. Then I'm going to put it in the form of an equation, and then show the relation of show the relation of F that is drag force with respect to with respect to all the variables. That is what I have to do. Okay. So to do that, what first what I should do? I should select what is the step? I should select the repeating variables. I should select the repeating variables. Now, what are the repeating variables? Condition for selecting the repeating variable is yes. What is the condition? There should be one geometric property, one fluid property, and one flow property. Now, I will select. Now, what are the repeating variables? Now, first of all, take geometric property. Now, in this uh, problem, what is the geometric property? Length. Length is given. So variable. Take L as a repeating variable because it satisfies geometric property. Next. Next after L, what you will take? Flow property. Now which is the flow property? This is the flow property. Velocity, acceleration are all flow properties. Therefore, V is a velocity is a flow property. Select V. Then select yes. What you should select? Fluid property. What is the fluid property? Density, viscosity are all fluid properties. Now I am going to select the fluid property also. The fluid property is density. In the problem, whatever is given, those variables you pick from that and group it. So L, V, and rho are the repeating variables. What do you mean by repeating variables? It will appear in both pi one as well as pi two. If there are four pi terms, pi one, pi two, pi three, pi four, everywhere these repeating variables will repeat. Okay. So now, now what do I have? Pi one and pi two. As I calculated that two pi terms are there because n minus m is equal to two. Okay. Now, what is pi one? I will calculate the first pi term. Pi one is equal to yeah. What are the repeating variables? L v rho. So write L v rho. Then. What are the other two variables left out? F and mu. So if you want to take mu or you take f, whatever you want to can take, both will be the the answer will be same. So I will take f. L v rho into f, where l v rho are repeating variables, f is non-repeating. Okay. So much I kept. Now I will raise it to the power of a one, b one, and c one, repeating variables. I will do that. Then I will keep it. Then pi two. Is equal to L V rho repeating variables. It will appear in pi two also. L V rho to the power of a two b two c two into which is other variable mu into mu. I will write. Okay. Now pi one is equal to L to the power of a one v to the power of b one rho to the power of c one into f. Now I have to do the dimension analysis now. How I will do the dimension analysis? Yes. Take the values of powers of m, l, and t. Take the values of powers of m, l, and t. 
equate equate lhs to rhs equate lhs to rhs then what is going to happen we will see now just see this problem those who are not attended yesterday's class the very important problem 10 marks one full question will come for the exam on dimensional analysis this is module 4 okay now i will do this problem like this next what i am going to do now yeah now i have to the equate lhs to rhs what should i equate i will equate the powers of ml and t on lhs to the powers of ml and t on the right hand side okay so i will put see on the left hand side it is always m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 always put that is equal to is equal to l l means length only directly l to the power of a1 into what is the unit of uh, units of velocity how to define velocity how to meter per second what is meter it is a measure of length l meter per second l divided by time so t is in the denominator i will take it to numerator l t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b1 into unit of density is what kg per meter cube kg is what kg is m mass into meter cube length l to the power of 3 divided by so l to the power of 3 will go to the numerator l power minus 3 into now what is force force is mass into acceleration mass m into what is acceleration meter per second square l into t to the power of minus 2 okay you have to put the units now compare the powers of mlt on both sides i will take m first compare for us powers of m for m lhs what is the power of m zero zero is equal to rhs c where is m yeah one m is there c1 one c1 so c1 plus 1 c1 plus 1 Yeah, therefore C one equals minus one. Then compare the powers of L. Left hand side zero is equal to A one plus B one minus three C one plus one. Keep it like that only. Then T zero is equal to minus B two minus two. Therefore B one is equal to minus two. Substitute the value of B one and C one in the above equation and find the value of A one. You will get a one is equal to minus two. Now in the pi term, pi one is equal to l power a one, v power b one, rho power c one into f. Substitute the values of a, b, and c. So I will get l power minus two, v to the power of minus two, rho to the power of minus one into f. Or pi one is equal to f divided by. Now all these are minus powers. Send it to the denominator. F divided by rho l square v square. Any doubt in this? Have you understood how to do the pi term? Understood? Step by step procedure of the Buckingham pi theorem. Yes, Nimala Vagesh. Have you understood? Hello. Hello. Siddhar, Jain, Swaran, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. I'm hearing, yes, sir. sir. Good. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Good. now i will go to the second pi term how to find the second pi i know that there are two pi terms pi 1 and pi 2 now pi 1 is over i will find pi 2 now pi 2 is equal to i got that equation l to the power of a2 v to the power of b2 rho to the power of c2 into mu okay good now substitute the dimension on both sides left hand side is always m to the power of 0 l to the power of 0 t to the power of 0 it is equal to now rhs l to the power of a2 Into what is velocity? How do you define velocity? Meter per second. Meter is L per second. Per divided by t, or t to the power of minus one if you take to the numerator. To the power of b two into density again kg per meter cube. Kg is m meter cube if you take divided by meter cube. So if you take meter cube to the numerator, it will become minus three. L to the power of Minus three meters is a measure of length. Then 
MLT are called fundamental dimensions. Then, uh, what is uh, viscosity? How do you define viscosity? Newton per second meter square, meter. M into L power minus one, T power minus one. To substitute all these things, you should know the units of those variables. Okay. Comparing the power of MLT on both sides, I will get zero is equal to C2 plus one. Therefore, C2 equals minus one. Zero equals A2 plus B2 minus three C2 minus one. Therefore, B2 equals minus one and A2 equals minus one. I have found the value of A1, A2, B2, C2. Substitute in the pi2 equation, I will get L to power minus one, V power minus one, rho power minus one into mu, or pi2 is equal to mu divided by all these things are minus powers. Bring it to the denominator, L, V, rho. Now, therefore, I will get pi2 is equal to, okay, pi2 is equal to, you can keep it like that only, okay, or you can write, the inverse of this parameter is called the Reynolds number. See? The inverse of this parameter.